from Chicago. My hometown. The home of the greatest football team in the world. The Chicago fuckheads. Look, you know, I, I, you got cocky, you know. I would have said something nice if you didn't, but you know, you, you were full of yourselves, so fuck you. It's Herman Town! I am the ugly Jeff Davis. And now, for your listening pleasure, Daniel Harmon! The, gay, I, the gayest nerd ever. Yeah. Uh, Hi. So, did you notice something special about the show's format tonight? Yeah, we got a fucking real organist. Yeah. <laughs> no. This guy. No, you, you've been here for years, right? Like, how many years? Uh, I started in 92. 92. And what's the name again? Sorry, it's... Dennis Scott. I knew it sounded like a fake name. <laughs> Dennis Scott, previously a real name, wanted in three states, but now creating a new life as of 92 as an organist in a theater. Uh, Dennis Scott. <laughs> no, no such lineage yeah. ever. Pick a first name and then a, give us a last name, for God's sake. Uh, Dennis Scott, uh, yeah, he's, a, he's an icon here at this 1929, yeah. this theater. I, I used to come here and watch movies. I came here, I invited a bunch of friends over one, one Christmas Eve, like it was December 23rd, and I invited all my friends to come and watch It's a Wonderful Life here, and no one came. <laughs> and I, it was me looking at the screen and when it when, and at the end when it said no man is a failure who has friends right. worst night of my life <laughs> Dennis, Dennis Scott's shift usually ends an hour ago <laughs> I kicked some money in uh, <laughs> I thought it would be fun to have him here for a Harmontown show. It right. is? Yeah! So, for instance, if we were to say, Oh, it's time for Dino to tell us about the craziest sexual thing he's ever done. Uh, do, 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 my mom's in the audience. Uh, my mom's in... Oh, oh, that's actually, true. Yeah, sorry. I sorry. do. I, I do have a couple rules because my mom's in the audience. Uh, okay. I have. A, I have a few things. All that... right, it's time for Dino's rules segment. Yeah. <laughs> the saddest segment ever. So there's a, a few things that we can't say on this show. Okay. First thing, cunt. <laughs> can't say cunt. Like. Just in general? Don't say cunt at all. Not just, we can't say your mom's a cunt. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, mostly cunt. I mean, there's, there's certain variables involved. Like, you know, I mean, I, she probably doesn't like cuntiness or cunt load or, you know, cunt organ. We were, uh... <laughs> We were we were we were at dinner at a fine Greek restaurant tonight. Yeah. I went and uh, 
uh, and, and joined Dino and his uh, family, including his mother, who is wonderful, uh, 80 years old. Uh, 81. Or, She'll make you remember. She, she, you wouldn't know it from talking to her. She's got all the pluck of uh, Christian Slater from Heathers. <laughs> It feel, that's, that's, that's what I actually picture when I'm talking to her. Guess, guess the one person who doesn't understand that joke Exactly. Here. <laughs> I love it. But, she, she, but she, she loves me and I love her. And uh, she's, a, she's You call a, her Mama Topolis. I call her Mama Topolis. Because <laughs> like. I can never remember her first name. <laughs> Tula. Tula. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he doesn't give a shit about her first name. Uh, now but I understand. But she tonight... Dino's like a thousand years old. Dino's, Dino's I'm gonna. I'm turning fifty this year. Uh, it's it's the new Woo! thirty. It's it's the new sexy. It's tonight, yeah. tonight, for the first time in his fifty year life, sitting next to his mom in a Greek restaurant in Chicago. She screamed this. She she like Dino was razzing his mom as he often does. Oh, mom, you're you're a piece of shit. Ah, you're <laughs> whatever. Like, oh, mom, Cunt. you're just and, and tonight, for the first time ever... Ever, I swear to God. Your mom spun toward you and pointed a finger at you and said, You were a mistake. <laughs> Which is amazing. It, the thing that was amazing to me is that it took her that long to tell you that. Because my mom told me that as soon as I learned the words "you were" and "mistake." No, she was she was winding up for the big one. <laughs> she knew she had like a fucking moment, like where I was like going to give her shit a lot, and it was tonight. And I and yeah. I, lo I love that there was also like there was some fracas there, and then like your brother was also at the table, and he's he's older than you, right? No, he's two years younger. Oh, okay. Well, his ponytail's grayer. <laughs> but he was, he was... And then at a certain point, she wheeled at him and said, You were a mistake, too! I know! She's really... I think she screamed, You were a mistake. <laughs> you are all mistakes here I, I, to my I, mom. I, I, I love that that's like the... If you live long enough as, as a woman, that <laughs> is actually your right. Like, yeah. going, you, you get to go. You're all a fucking mistake. Yeah. Because uh, I, I, it occurred to me when she said that, that uh, Yahweh <laughs> was saying that to Adam and Eve. And that humankind, whether you believe right. in Darwin's version of the uh, species development or in a fundamentalist principle, both agree on one thing. We are a mistake. Yeah. Uh, this is, and and, and, this and that's a profound sense. thing. Yeah. Like, who, wants, who here wants to be uh, the result of a divine plan? That's dumb. That's stupid. No. Here are some things that are the result of a lot of planning. Uh... After mash. <laughs> ah, good organ. They had all the, all the time in the world to think of that one. Uh, <laughs> I, the organ guy. Yeah, uh, the hangover. Yeah, yeah. What is his name? Dick Wolf? Dick, <laughs> Dick Wolf on organ. Dick okay. Wolf is fine. Second thing we can't say fart. Let's just try. I just want to get out of my system. I All want, right. I want, I want to wrap. I guess this I bit's over. I want to wrap. We've got to try it. Can you just like, let's just take anything with a steady tempo. Okay. Yo. 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 Rap into the organ, cause the beat is my own. I fucked your mama so hard, she tried to call me on the phone. I said, I can't talk to you, I'm calling you back. I fucked your mama so hard, that her heart got a crack. I put my dick in the crack, and I made it extra wide. I fucked your mama so hard, she said, Bye, oh my, oh my. Yeah. I said, I fucked your mama. I fucked your mama. 1929. It's raining pennies. I fucked your mama. The depression fucked your mama. I 
fucked your mama. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I, I, I. Thanks, kids. Thanks. Um, I hate to bring this up now, but number three is fuck your mama. <laughs> we can't say that at all. <laughs> number four, don't say Jesus sucked a cock. She's very religious. She's Greek Orthodox. I, did, I, get, I, I get weirded out when I hear that. And I hate Jesus. So I heard a story. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, well, we'll get back to the list later. It's I, my only written bit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Are we going to watch Nosferatu? <laughs> I... I... <laughs> There was somebody that told me a story in the uh, community writer's room that uh, that there was a person who, like, I guess this must happen all the time. And I'm worried because there's probably 800 people here that this happened to one of them. Uh-oh. Uh, like, every once in a while, a grandparent kills a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much you paid him, but money well spent. <laughs> Every once in a while, in America, somewhere, a, a father of 35 who has a two-year-old child leaves his child in the care of his 70-year-old Oh, mother. so it's by mistake. It's not, no, it's, it's, yeah, it's not it's premeditated. Not, yeah, it's not underworld. <laughs> but, yeah. The... I don't know. Can you can you imagine? I just want to imagine, like like everyone here in this room is like, in some state of either hating their parents or hope or having their own kids. Uh, there is never any in between. Can you imagine, like, if you were like, okay, I fucking hate my parents, but I have my own kid. Mom, will you babysit the kid? Yeah. I gotta go to work, and then you come home, and your mom is like, I killed your kid. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, uh, I, I agree. I'd be the worst grandparent. What, once I got drunk, I'd be time to hold the baby. <laughs> but I'm, sa I'm saying, I'm thinking, we, we, they were talking about that in the writer's room, and I said, I actually got excited because I was like. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you give him $5,000, really? No. I, I... <laughs> This guy's working overtime. <laughs> I, I actually picture if my mom killed my kid, I, there was a little bit of excitement. <laughs> because I was like, I could kill my mom. <laughs> and while I was killing her, I could be like, you, you, I'm not going to hell for this. <laughs> you love Greek tragedies. <laughs> it was worth it. I'll have yeah, another yeah. kid. <laughs> But this one's not on me. I don't know. You wouldn't feel that way. You'd love your kid. No, Sorry. I'd love Sorry my to kid. bring everything I'd love down. my kid, and I'd tash that love in for an opportunity to kill my mother <laughs> and have another kid free of her influence. Uh, you're better than me. I would, I would, I would, be, I would just be sad. <laughs> your mom mentioned something tonight yeah? at the dinner table. Oh, I have another word we can't say. Cunt. <laughs> Did I say that already? She doesn't mind cunt face for some reason. <laughs> well, get that, that, yeah, that was an old, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Wait till you hear the next one. It's, it's a biggie. Uh, your mom said she had the gout at one point. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to bring her up and ask her about the gout. She doesn't want to come up. I know up. she doesn't want to come up, but I want to know about the gout. I'll tell you all about it. What's the gout? The gout is when you eat rich food, your 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 foot swells up, and you can't you can't even put a little sheet. You can't put like a like a tissue on it because it hurts so much. Jesus, it hurts so bad, right? Do you have the gout. Come can, up here. Can you come up and talk about your gout? <laughs> oh, he's got the gout. He's got the gout. He's yep, yep, it out. Oh, it's buckets from gout. heaven. When it rains out, gout going to the downtown. Can I'm you, putting can, on my gout hat and my tailcoats and my rhinestone monocle. I'm going to see King Kong kill photographers. <laughs> hey, yep, dep, dee, dep, doop, dep, honey's from heaven. Yes. I, 
Hello, they actually your name, worked sir? this out before. I'm Jordan Brown. Jordan Brown. Jordan, yes. you, can you pretend you're my mom for the, the next f four years? No. And, and also pretend like you wanted me? Oh, no, I can't do that. It's okay. too tall in order. Just have the gout and talk to us about it. It's, do you need to sit down, first oh, of all? Is that part of the gout? Yeah, it, it's... Hey, where's the vodka, by the way? What the fuck is going on with the... It's, it was too much to ask. Too much for Chicago. This no, is no, my no. home goddamn town. Where's the kettle one? I, well, I, don't, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with the microphones to make them stop doing that. I feel like I'm just learning the force. No, Luke, don't don't put the red one near the blue one. <laughs> That's complicated. I thought I was supposed to open my mind. All right, what's the gout? What is it? <laughs> so it's it. I mean, it, Dino was right. It's it starts with like rich foods, you, like uh, beef, chicken. What does rich Fla mean? Foie gras. Rich means anything. Well, it, it, gout was originally like a rich person's. In back in ancient Greece and stuff, it was like a rich person. The people who would get it were people who could afford to be fat. Uh -huh. So like. You know, I got the gout. <laughs> That's pretty much us. Yeah. yeah. So like saturated fats. Well, uh, yeah, it's like it's all. Um, they're it's called, healthy fat. Uh, yeah, uric acid builds up get in up your. Here. <laughs> <laughs> it builds Everyone up. Everyone who has an opinion, get up here. <laughs> <laughs> you have a gout support group. So, what the, so the gout then it, it it collects in your foot. Yeah, so it can happen. A lot of people get it in their elbow, but mine happens I to think be in both I, my feet. My theory is that if you don't walk around a lot, you're a truck driver, you get gout in your ass. Like you get hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids is the same as gout. Is that, the same? Is, is, that, is, is, is that idiotic? Your theory, what, we have a guy I'm not with a gout. <laughs> he's not a doctor either. He's a, but he's the next best thing to a doctor. He's the guy who had gout. He's the guy with gout. <laughs> All right. I'm a guy with gout. I have a mom. The way you learn is by bouncing it off me. I can say no, Dino. That's so not what happens? So really, so it's not. So, so it, it's pain? every. It's it. Well, first of all, it, like the terrible thing is, you go to the doctor. And you're like, my foot hurts. And I like have a micro fracture. And he's like, no, you have gout. And I was like, okay. So what can I take to get rid of? He's like, no, no, it's with you for life. This is no, you, but you take pills, right? No. I, yeah, my mom takes do, pills. They don't do that until my it's like mom really, takes pills. Okay, Jesus Christ. To ease the pain. Stop arguing with him. I. Y I wish she had the fucking courage to get up here. Your foot hurt, and so the doctor says you have gout. You have it for life. Yeah, and it, it, you get flare-ups like herpes. But what is what is it now? Now, now you want to fight. Hurt. You're, it, it's not even doesn't swell like really bad. It's not noticeably red. It's just you can't like. It's the worst. I've broken bones stuff. It feels as bad as that, and you just can't. I can't walk for like a week. Two because weeks. because what's happening? Uric acid builds up and it, it, it like crystallizes in the in your bones and in your muscles. Oh. And so it just it just makes it like sharp shooting pain. Can't oh. you just drink some water, walk it off or something? I do. Well I I sit on my couch with like an ice pack and play FIFA for like a week. White people problems. I know. <laughs> All right. Well and uh, get up here. No, don't <laughs> tell him to get up here. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, sorry. Up. Now he's I'm up. not in control. No, 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 I'm not no, in no. Control. come on. You, you already stood up. Come on. <laughs> we got a lot of people coming I'll, I'll, I'll up. Step down. If you talk, you get to come on up, cabaret. <laughs> if you speak, you get to come on up. Do you have a mouth? Then come on up, cabaret. <laughs> This has to do with oh, German fuck. politics. I do not know the meaning. I'm a cabaret. Cabaret. <laughs> if you speak, you get to come on up. Oh, okay. I, I, I hate Tim Burton more than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's your name, young man? Uh, Tim Farrell. Uh, Tim Carl? Farrell. Farrell. Tim Farrell. All right. <laughs> Another fake name. <laughs> what, what, uric acid, go. Basically, your, your kidneys don't filter correctly, so you end up building uric acid crystals in your joints and in your muscles. So it's like having little tiny daggers in your joints and muscles. Okay, so step down. Uh, uh, step down and uh, you uric came up acid. for a second. No. And now I think I reckon you go back down and sit there and be an audience member. 
Tiny Daggers. <laughs> All right, Tiny Daggers. I, I like Tim Burton now. That kid was probably like a pre-med student. He probably had the most answers. How long yeah. has your well, mom he had go gout? fuck himself. How long has your mom had gout? Uh, how she? How long? How she long? Had, yeah. I don't know. How long have you had gout? <laughs> Forget it. Nah. I was worried it killed her. She didn't answer. Can you can you look at her after the show? You're a doctor, right? No, no. no he's oh, just a guy well, with then gout. what are you doing here? I'm a grant. I'm a fundraiser. All right, let's have a hand for Gout Man. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, 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 he had gout. Now we understand gout. Everybody understands gout better now. Uh, the end bomb. My mom hates the end bomb. Oh yeah. What's the hates it? Hates the n bomb. Well, who it? doesn't? What? what who, who? Who doesn't I hate agree. the n bomb? She doesn't mind the word nigger though, but she hates n bomb. It's a silly joke. You made a si <laughs> you made a silly joke. I wrote one joke. And you knew you, you knew you could get away with it because we're in Chicago and they're they're brash. Chicago loves me. Uh, All right, uh, society corner. Oh. Okay. I don't know what this is. When you're flying on a plane, what, 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 what I understand that I've done it too. Sometimes you take off your shoes because the shoes, the shoes cover the uh, sock covered feet <laughs> and, the, and the sock covered feet are, they're, you know, your shoes, they, oh boy, I've had these shoes on for so long. And you're on a plane. It's your right. Like, like Jesus Christ, I'm on the plane for six hours. Take off your shoes. You get your little sock feet tucked under the seat in front of you. Who are these people with that then take off the socks? <laughs> and everyone in this room has been on a plane with somebody. You, you've all been there. You've all seen bare feet on a plane. Right? Who, what's going on? Is there is there anyone here who, when they get you, okay, well, kid, you you take you take off your shoes and socks on a plane? Well, then get up here. Do you want to come up here? And, <laughs> okay, all right. Get fine. up here and uh, talk uh, about uh, your feet. We're learning about people. I, I definitely expected. <laughs> if look, <laughs> I mean, he doesn't have socks on now. Well, don't okay, don't so, do it. Okay, so yeah, what, what, so so when you're on a plane, you take off your shoes and this your really socks. is a show about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, what's it supposed to be about? Uh, I don't know. I've never really. listened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you take off your shoes and your socks? Yeah. Well, usually I don't wear socks at all, so I just take off my shoes. And, all right, that's yeah. not fair. <laughs> Thank you. I yeah. Because that's not... Oh, man, I used to wear socks with my Vans, but now I switched to Tom. Yeah, but why don't you wear socks? Well, with these, it's not... Well, it's kind of tight already. So if I put oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> it's a little tight, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Faggot. I, don't know. <laughs> I got two of the words in. <laughs> it's not oh, wait, I got cunt, too. I think I got all of them. Yeah, what's left? Nothing really. I don't know. Uh, Your mother's balls? I don't know. Harmless. That, that was on <laughs> Sons of Anarchy last week. <laughs> uh, so really, okay. You're yeah. I mean, so you don't wear socks. So you're 14, and when you take off your shoes, <laughs> your bare feet are out. I, you know what? It, you know what it is? It's young feet. Young feet are fine. Yeah, they're fine. I, it's uh, okay. We're, now we're learning something about me. I, I, like, because like, 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 if there was a 25 year old woman with beautiful feet and she was like, I don't have any socks on. And yeah, ba 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 boom. Nobody would be like, oh, right. gross. Huh? What is this, coach? Um, <laughs> but it's the, it's the fucking, yeah, it's the, yeah. it's the, it's youth. It's the 70 year old man. Like who, baby feet. Like, I would rather, like, swim in, like, a, a billion gallons of baby shit than walk past an old man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, there was a guy on the plane to Chicago today. I looked over. I did a double take. I, 
I, I, I, full disclosure, I only fly first class. So uh, that's already working against this guy. What is he doing? <laughs> I, there was a, did you ever see that Tom Hanks, Jackie Gleason movie about dads? Uh, where t and then Tom Hanks like looks under the table and he like notices his dad has diabetes. Uh, These are the things that happen. For those of you listening, uh, the audience doesn't have a particular emotional I'll attachment to Jackie Gleason. No. <laughs> a, 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 a bunch of, a bunch of beer fell on electricity. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's Chicago, and, so. and and we're gonna all run out of here in two seconds. Yeah. What the all fuck? Right, fine. I don't care. There was a guy with like fucking black toenails and 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 white flaky feet. And I don't understand why he felt permission to put them up on the wall of the plane. Like he was like, like he was John Draper in Mad Men, but without <laughs> shoes. And it's just his gross Bigfoot feet were everywhere. And they were the, the first signs of him dying. And no one wants to look at that. Right, yeah. Maybe that's what he wanted everyone to see. Maybe, like, I mean, maybe I'll get there. Maybe I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm dying. Deal yeah, with it. Yeah, deal with death. All yeah. right. So your mom, the gout, you were a mistake. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, your brother said, I'm I glad was I'm a footnote in your show. You were going to speak too. <laughs> oh, your your mom, your mom, your mom is famous for once. Uh, you, you you were. Uh, you were teasing a, a, a neighborhood kid about their name. Oh yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, I was teasing someone about their name, and I, I said, "Mom, can you believe this kid's name?" And she's like, "Oh, you should talk." <laughs> like you were at least fifty percent in charge of naming me. All right. All right. Sorry. All right. So, uh, kid, shoeless Joe, sockless Joe. Oh, sockless, yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name is Michael Zerpak. Michael Zerpak. All right. Uh, another fake name. Uh, <laughs> weird alien person. Like, here, here, here to see if I pass the test and become the last starfighter. <laughs> Michael Zerpak, is there anything you want to plug before we eject you? <laughs> um, um, Harmontown? Yeah, Harmontown. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm actually um, starting my own blog soon. Like in starting his own blog. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, no, fucking plug it. Plug it. Yeah, okay. It's, um, I don't have much of a plan for it yet, but... <laughs> That's no, this is this is good. This is good. I had an idea for this about like a year ago and I'm starting it now, like All right. within next month after finals and stuff. But um Where <laughs> where, where where are you? What's a, he's starting a blog. Starting a blog blog. Yeah. It's gonna be filled with insights about what it's like to not wear socks. All right, uh, no, Blaine Capatch, whatever his name oh, yeah. is. So um <laughs> Can I can I be in your fucking blog? Will yeah. you write my name? Or? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Okay, Actually, when I, when I was waiting in line for the bathroom, I looked at you. I was like, we made eye contact, I think. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you later. <laughs> <laughs> he might be 14. <laughs> Room 705. Yeah. Well, yeah, I looked at you and I was like, Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> and you looked really familiar, but I didn't put like yeah, your face. Yeah, I look like your future. <laughs> Get down, baby. Get down before it's too late. Wait, oh, I thought you were doing Kanye West. No. <laughs> uh, the, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, um, yeah, so that blog thing I'm talking about is... Um, okay. It's gonna be, <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, uh, well, let him, let, well, just a couple more minutes. No, let, him, let, them, <laughs> let them yell at him. <laughs> they did. The, yeah. But, but it's okay. going to be a blog. and It's, it's um, going to be on Tumblr. It's called uh, Rushing Backwards right now. It might change name later, but oh, okay. for now, for now it's rushing backwards. Well, okay, just but, yeah. yeah. Is there is there a tweet we can subscribe to on Insta Insta Smurf uh, um. <laughs> to keep up with if the blog thing changes? Okay, so um, yeah, I'm going back to Twitter too. So like Jesus a, God, to, no, to just, your just brain. give him a second, <laughs> will you? <laughs> okay, it's um at Michael Zerpak. So uh, there, there. M, M I C H A E L. <laughs> C Z E R P A K. Just, just follow your common sense yeah. to where you want to go. <laughs> it's, it's not that difficult, people. I want the organ guy to throw, it's, throw it's, the do organ. Do what at water him. would do. Progress. Trickle progress. into the blog he's talking about. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. Okay? Dick it's gonna Wolf, be good. Get him out All of right, here. Dick Wolf, get him out of here. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, kid. I think he had the gout. I can't remember. All right. 
All right, look. I never thought I'd say this, but is it time for D&D yet? <laughs> well, it's certainly time for Spencer Crittenden to come to the Spencer! stage. <laughs> Standing ovation, Chicago. Welcome, Spencer Crittenden. They're on their feet. They're on their fucking feet. Holy fuck, is this the right microphone? Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> there are a lot of sexy women in the audience tonight. <laughs> there are a lot of sexy women with short Holy hair in shit. the audience tonight, and also <laughs> updos. This may be Jim Henson's greatest creation. I have... <laughs> my dad was a puppeteer, and I have had three oh, really? beers. <laughs> Holy shit! My god, you guys. I have had quite a day. <laughs> yeah. So, it wasn't showing us around. No, you showed me around. Right, baby. And by around, I mean the meaning of Greek family. Yeah. Yeah, most of, uh, most of you, it was you in your ho hotel room, because my text message conversations with you sometimes now in some way he's supposed to be your assistant right well yeah but not I mean I'm more of his manservant if we're gonna get <laughs> technical not when we take these trips he's off the clock but, oh okay okay but okay so let's see so Dino went oh so, so no I just go ahead wanna, yeah to yeah you know it's important your text message thread <laughs> he's not even drunk I never drink this much <laughs> You're applauding liver damage. It's liver damage you're applauding can you, right now. Can you pull up? Do you? Can you pull up your text message conversation with me? And go. <laughs> and can we do like a live reading of? Okay. Yeah. 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 Of today from. Let's go back to. Do you want me to do the action? Oh man, we gotta go way back. Let's go back to uh, seven thirty p.m. Who's this guy? <laughs> oh, I asked him for a beer before you called me up. Oh, okay. Yeah! Beer guy! Thanks, man. Thanks also, can guy. we just give another hand to the fucking... It's, it's Dennis Scott, is it? Yeah. yeah? Holy shit. He's a civic treasure. He's been enhancing my enjoyment Seven, all evening. 7.30 p.m., I dropped a pin for you, as Lena Dunham, Dunham would say. Which you followed up with the, f with the words. Start, <laughs> start reading. This is where we'll be. I said, this is where we'll be. I when dropped a pin. When should we be at the venue? Just had a run-in with the cops. <laughs> Tell Friedel thanks for the weed. That's him. So I said... A run-in with the cops? What's going on? <laughs> Dick do you, Wolf! Do you need help? <laughs> Lol, no, sorry. I realize the timing of those is odd. I'm smoking weed at the hotel. I'll tell you about the cops later, but they were just protecting corporate interests. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't harm me. They didn't harm me. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm getting the distinct feeling this is going to be a satisfying show. <laughs> I love Dino's family. <laughs> oh, my God. I love Dino's mom. <laughs> uh, what's the drive? We all do except for me. We're not done with this conversation. <laughs> well, I mean, is it? it's not getting better, is it? Well, let's keep it going. What's the driver's name? Max. Gay. Thanks. <laughs> I might be wrong. Are you getting a ride to the venue? Yeah, from Max. <laughs> Is it far? We are five minute drive from venue. Long room on Irving Park. When are you leaving? 15 minutes? Fuck, I'm at here. <laughs> Where? Where do you meet? And then the time passes. Where do you mean by here? A lot Can we time. help you in some way? End of, end of, end of conversation. <laughs> the, and this, this is the first time I've seen him. The last thing he said to me was, fuck, I'm at here. 
That's Bec- pretty good. Because it's every city we go to, uh, because of his clever manipulations <laughs> on the podcast. Hey. Uh, he's not clever. He's just him. I, I, uh, like He is greeted at the airport by people throwing trash bags of marijuana at him. Uh. It's, not, it's not like that quite to that level. <laughs> How come I don't get cocaine? <laughs> it's just a lot more expensive. Oh. That's true. Also, I don't know that there's the community around cocaine that there is around weed. Right. It's more selfish. Yeah. Yeah. And so we had a lovely dinner. <laughs> <laughs> the walls are bleeding, you guys. I mean, we're going to be fine. But no, I had a lovely dinner with Dino and his family. And I, I came back to the hotel. I really, really had to pee so bad. And I was like, holy shit, I'll, I have this My week. family does that. <laughs> they make you have to eject fluids. <laughs> but, yeah, so I got back to the hotel, and I'm like, fuck, I need to smoke weed. And um, I asked, I asked this, the, the bell desk lady, where can I buy some produce, perhaps an apple or a banana? And 7-Eleven. <laughs> so I sprint to 7-Eleven, because I had to pee so bad. And right as I'm going in, homeless guy rolls up. He's like, hey, man, you want to be my friend, whatever? You know, asking me, he wants me to buy him cigarettes. And I, when I'm hassled, I'll give homeless people stuff that I have. But fucking, I don't want to buy cigarettes for a homeless guy. That seems kind of a lot of (laughs) effort. So I'm telling this guy I can't give him money. And then the cops roll up. And they're like, hey, man, you can't be doing that here. And I'm like... That's not illegal, is it? And he's like, actually, walking up to me sternly, it is actually illegal. And I'm like, oh, you're the, it's your job, man. I, you'd be right. Because I have two grams of weed in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't... <laughs> and and I, can't, I can't... I can't get it into an altercation because... I mean, I'm the guy that's being harmed here, but I could quickly turn into a weird suspect all of a sudden, you know, with weed on his person. I hate to get all Noam Chomsky on you, but even if you don't have two grams of weed in your pocket, you're not allowed to get in an altercation with someone who has a gun and a badge. Yeah, it's a... And also, they're allowed to pull you over on the street and ask to see your proof of a relationship with a corporation that insures you against collision with another poor person. It's insane! Yeah, I couldn't talk to that... I legally could not talk to that man. He was being accosted by police for speaking with me. It's fucking insane, I think. But so I have weed, so I have to run. And I run into the store. I buy a lighter. I buy an apple. I, I, I run. I run out. I literally sprint Why? away. Why did you buy an apple? We just had, like, fucking Greek food. Because, Dino, let me He's tell you something about apples. Pipe. Dino, if you take you, a host... You can make a nice pipe out of some spanakopita. <laughs> I couldn't. I this... ate that all. I ate all of it. But this beer sucks, by the way. What happened to fucking old Milwaukee? And Get a shit? daisy cutter, son. Like this is like Chicago anti- famous yeah. ale, half anchor. <laughs> but so then I'm back at the hotel smoking weed. After I sprint past the police, which has to be the most suspicious thing I've done. But I get back to the hotel, start smoking weed, and I'm so full of these rich gout-inducing foods <laughs> that that I barf into the toilet. It's really, oh, it was tough, man. I was, Sorry. My people but let me apologize. tell you something about feta cheese. <laughs> Out of all the foods you can vomit up, feta cheese tastes by far the best. <laughs> it tastes just like feta coming out. I don't know if that's a compliment, but I'll take it. And that's when I realized this was going to be a good show. <laughs> All right, how much time do we have left? We had to make this a tight one because they got Rocky Horror Picture Show coming up here. Yeah, if it's 10.55, we got about 40. 40? Jesus. I'm yeah. out of jokes. And what do you, 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 you don't want to play D&D with us? I want to do anything that anyone wants me to do. I want to play D&D. All right, can you, well, you weren't very cooperative. I know, I'm not, I'm not a one trick pony. I'm going to do it this okay. time. All right, well, I want to bring up somebody I ran into on the sidewalk out there, if she's willing to come up. Uh, Does she have short hair? Oh, come on. I I'm the guy who hits on people. I hey, remember. I'm drunk now. It's new <laughs> Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 
Yeah, I gotta tell you, you I'm guys, sharing a room with Dustin. Though. Seriously, just date Spencer for a while. Yeah, all you Chicago people. Come on. Seriously. That's He's all... a good guy. I love him. I... Not you. S Spencer got a story. <laughs> all right, knock it up. Come I'm on. a bad person when I'm drunk. I'm sorry, whoever no, you're that not. was. You're very sweet. You're very thank sweet. You, you're a you. wonderful young man. It's so embarrassing. Two beers. You're or fine. Three beers. You're fine. We love five you. Five beers. We all beers. love him, right? We love him. young man. Oh, can I tell you about the Uber driver? I, I got the okay. Uber driver to pick me you're, up. You're starting to wear thin. I know, I know. <laughs> no, this is no, the no. last anecdote. <laughs> I'm joking. I just said we love him. I Uber got the joke. Uber driver to pick me up, and he was like, which way do you want to go? Do you want to take the expressway? Do you want to take service streets? And I'm like, oh, man, I'm not from around here. What do you? Whatever works, because I'm high as fuck. And the guy's like, I'll take the fastest way. You know, us taxi cab drivers make more money if we get more people. So I, I'll take you the fastest way. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? I'm deferring to you and you're trying to get all high and mighty over what weighs the best. And then I realized he was just being really helpful. He was just like, this is what you need to know about cab drivers. Is this is how they make their money. He was trying to help. I thought he was being all high and mighty to me, being all like, here's how it works, man. We get people to where they're going. That's how we make money. But he was like, no, we actually, this is our business. And so we had a lovely talk. So, so Spencer, do you, do you feel better now that you've, you've let this out? No, I feel really hurt. <laughs> Betrayed, even. I feel like, I, Spencer, you're a young man. You're a young man. There's a rate. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Say something see, else. <laughs> you're, there is a storm raging beneath you. There's a storm raging beneath you. <laughs> he, he gets it. He gets it. <laughs> when Spencer, I want to tell everybody here in Chicago, when we've gone to... How many? 45,000 cities together? Yeah. No, 47,000. Spencer, <laughs> Spencer no, nothing I look forward to more, uh, like the idea of, oh, we're going to this and that city. Oh, what? It, it, let's all meet at my house and get into a car together. Yeah, how's he going to react? And Spencer is always like, oh, I'll go by myself. So, And I was like, okay, all right, fine. Then over time, it's like, Spencer, why are you always going by yourself? To, and, and then Spencer slowly reveals, he, he says, I, I, it's not, I don't want to not go to the airport with you guys, but when I like to have my car at the airport, because when the plane lands, I want to get to my car as quickly as possible and want to have control over uh, uh, where I'm going as quickly as possible. And, and that's something that's taken away from me when By the I airports, uh, uh, take a car, car drivers. Look at him. He looks like a hermit. I can't believe he so, cares so, about control. So, to, so today, I, I got new insight into this <laughs> because you oh, said, man. and this is, this is the second time I've yeah. been in a car with you where we've been driving and uh, I pop up on my laptop and I start playing Minecraft. <laughs> and Spencer, this is the second time, Spencer goes, uh, says to the driver, hey, uh... How uh, how long uh, do you what's the how long do you think I'm, I'm, you making, think I'm making you sound stupid. I, how I, long do you <laughs> think it'll take I, to get there? Yeah, how long do you think it'll take to get there? About what's the uh, estimated time? Estimate. And the, and the driver will go like, uh, oh, uh, I uh, I guess a with bunch traffic, of bullshit. If there's wind, I uh, twenty seven minutes. Yeah, and supposed to go. Wind. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, but isn't that me texting you? No, you no, 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 no. Thank not. you, though. I it's appreciate not. that. Spencer <laughs> in a vacuum cannot handle right. being contained in a metal cocoon. Right. With no control over when wow. or knowledge. I over just feel when. like I'll become a metal butterfly. <laughs> so, so today he did the he did it again. He goes like, "Where? Uh, how long to the thing?" And the and the and the driver who's adorable goes like, uh, "With traffic, twenty minutes." And then, and then Which the driver, the driver kept going. <laughs> the driver kept going like, uh, just because Spencer said that, he's like, uh, just uh, fifteen more minutes of the thing. And then so Spencer said, uh, paraphrasing, Spencer said, "Look, I, I wasn't asking earlier because I, I'm on a schedule. It's just that normally when I drive to places, 
I know when I'm going to get there. <laughs> it's true. And when someone else is driving me, I don't know when I'm going <laughs> to get there. It's true. So I need to ask them when I'm going to get there. <laughs> and I was like, well, this is fascinating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is incredible. Because I've never, I would get, I mean, and I'm not a good person for saying this. I would get out of an airport, jump into a car. Six hours, like I would be like, "Whoa, where's the Thanks hotel?" A lot. Here's like, fifty dollars. Yeah, I, I, yeah, Spencer's sounds... like he needs to know where he's going yeah. and what's going on. You don't trust anybody. It's <laughs> well, yeah, I don't. You trust <laughs> me, don't you? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I mean, this is not humorous, but it's just like my whole life is about getting to know situations before I enter them. Like I'm all about research and d putting in legwork and figuring out how things are going to be and then easing myself into a situation. When I'm traveling, it's really weird not knowing exactly where we're going or how long it'll take. And it's just like, if I'm in LA, I'll be like, it'll take 10 minutes to get here and 10 minutes to get, it's just interesting not having, not being that person designed to get me places and not knowing like if I'm going to be in the car for 15 minutes or 70 minutes. It's Can weird. You describe to me the worst case scenario. Like when you think of when you go like, I don't want to be this guy. Oh, well, I have to shit. <laughs> like I really have to go to the bathroom or do something or I'm thinking about like masturbating you could, or man, you, you, you would you hate, you would hate being a dog. But like, you could you, say to anybody, I have to shitting. pull over, I have to take a shit. I'm saying, like, what's your worst? Wait, what? Let's unpack that. Well, if somebody, <laughs> if somebody's driving you for so long that you have to. Oh, uh, yeah. No, no. I, in, the, in that very same Uber driver I was in, I almost didn't reroute the car to the direction we were supposed to be going because I didn't want to bother the guy. Like, that's just my damage. But so, or are Thank you, you are you polite or are you a control freak? Because you don't want to not know how soon you can get somewhere. Yeah, I mean that's literally the first time I've asked that question, and we've been on the road several times where I haven't had. This is fucking boring. I'm. Right. I don't. I. I'm no. a. I'm a bad person. I, you're right, Dan. No, you're I not. should fix myself. I didn't myself. say you were a bad person. No, I know. I know. I, 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 like, like, I, I just want to spice the things up. <laughs> <laughs> That's I my, just think it's amazing okay. that you can't. How's my cannot, Greek? You can't put him in a car if you if you. I don't it, like change, if man. You put I don't him in a change. car and you don't tell him where you're where he's going and, and right. how soon he's going to get there. He he will. Yeah. Hey, look look at him now. Yeah, look at me now, Dan. <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> all right, so it's a time for D and D. All right, yeah, we got we're we're in a tight schedule here. Uh, we're gonna need a woman to play some of the womanly characters. I uh, hold it. I met a woman on the sidewalk, and she pushed all the right buttons because she's uh she's a professor at the University of uh, Chicago. Uh, she's uh, ne uh studies neurology and uh and its and its relationship with racism. <laughs> Jenny, are you here? Uh oh. Oh shit. This is the updo. I'm sorry to reduce you to your haircut. That's not what you deserve at all. Hi, hi Jenny. Hello. Really think about that, Spencer. She studies neurology hi, and nice its relationship you. with racism. Yeah. I'm yes, you can fucked. Have, you can have all kinds of beers. They're, is there a they're, microphone? They're shitty non Chicago beers. Oh shit. You need maybe we need that. A, like Hi. an old style. Does that or work? Old, old Milwaukee or something. This is good. Ugh. It's All a right, Brooklyn so lager. Neurology, as I understand, is about the Neurons. firmware of the human mind, if not the hardware. Shit we cannot change. True. So I'm, I'm assuming you're going to say some uncomfortable things if you're a neurologist and you're studying racism. Well, I'm a neuroscientist. It's slightly different because I don't have a medical degree. Wait, you study racism? What? Yeah, so I study stereotyping. I said, I said the N-word today. What did you think about that? <laughs> so uncomfortable. Did it, did it, did it turn you on? <laughs> we're, 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 we're all on different tracks. baby. <laughs> I, love the, I love that the Oregon we're guy's interpretation of that was... Anytime Dino enters a room. <laughs> uh... 
Yeah, yeah so I study stereotyping and prejudice in the brain. So what, what does that mean? Okay, so, so I study how... I don't think Asians could do that. <laughs> Fact. Awesome. <laughs> Can we please tell the podcast people at home that... Oh, yeah, I got it, so that she's slightly Asian, I guess. Slightly! I'm... Uh, I'm I'm mixed race. I'm mixed race, so I'm mixed age. race. Yeah. Yeah. Well, who's dominant, baby? I'm, uh, I'm quarter. I'm perfect quarter. A quarter. So I'm. Jack- I got a quarter in my pocket. Uh, yeah. That says you're a full Asian. What? I don't know. <laughs> That's, 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 that's from a radio play called Hitler Hits on Women. Hey, uh, you got a little Nazi in you? Uh, sorry. Right. Yeah, so I'm Japanese, French, Mexican, and Native American. Native American? Oh, man. Yeah, French. French is the only thing that is an Asian in you. Uh, Native yeah. American. Well, three maybe. of those are not Asian. No, <laughs> no. Well, didn't the Native okay, Americans Native come American, over on the Bering Strait? Yeah, didn't they? By like- definition, by the word Af- uh, Native American, that means Asian. Didn't no. they come over on no. the? Not at all. Not at all. Not <laughs> even took that close. ice bridge. <laughs> what else are you? Wait, what else did you say? I what? said uh, French, Japanese. Japanese, yeah. Native American and Native- Mexican. Yeah, Mexican. That's as Asian as you could get. <laughs> We're getting sidetracked here. Yeah. I, I think her studies are the important thing. Oh, are they? Uh, I don't know. Or about are that. they? We'll find out <laughs> from her studies. <laughs> <laughs> so I, um, uh, yeah, I show people pictures of you know different races and see how their brains respond. So what does that mean, oh, how, how their brains respond? What are you measuring? So I typically measure, I put people in fMRIs, MRIs, and then I look at how their brains respond differently to typically white and black people and how it's co-opted for the same systems that we respond to for emotions. So how we respond to basic things like snakes and spiders and how that's co-opted Fuck. for things like race. So you're putting you're putting people in a tube and scanning yeah. their brain and like seeing which parts of their brains light, light up, up and they're showing them images of snakes, spiders, black people and white people. Uh, <laughs> typically not snakes and spiders. Typically black people, white people, well, Asians. I mean, don't be afraid and to then get sometimes, really detailed about Yeah, this. so sometimes we like put people in tubes, show them pictures of different races. Had them shoot people of different races. Wait, like and video? And see how. Uh, wow, their you brain finally responses. got my attention. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, uh, for a while, I was like, dee 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 dee, boring. <laughs> but now, here we go. <laughs> we don't have an fMRI it's machine, but can you test fest. Dan? Can you test Dan right I, now? I could, yeah. Oh, shit. I Wait, could. you could test me. Well, I mean, I could stick you in a tube, yeah. Just point at him and say <laughs> he's can't. racist. I know, he protests too much. I'm, <laughs> I'm the only non-racist here in this fucking room. It's no, true. I, 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 room I, 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 705. But what are you... What, can, I, I'm asking right. sincerely, like, what is your branch? Like, what are you guys seeking to, to discover? So my specific branch, which is not necessarily everyone who studies the same thing that I do, is about how to... Um, mitigate discrimination. So I study like ways to make people not racist. Make me not racist. It's gonna be. Is it? Is I it dare about, you. It's gonna be pretty fucking hard. I is think. It a, <laughs> can I ask you an honest question? Is it about yeah. being aware and trying to actively combat your inherent biases? Yeah, actually, that's absolutely what it is. So it's mostly about. I keep. <laughs> This is terrible. I keep telling that to people, and then they keep calling me racist. <laughs> it's like, well, I can admit my inherent biases. It's right. mostly that people are in the culture. They grow up in the same culture. They know the same shit. Everyone has access to the same knowledge. Right. And that knowledge like influences your split-second decisions, whether yes. you actually really wanted to or not. So people who explicitly really don't want to be racist and fucks who are, wouldn't who would never hurt a fly never if hurt they had to think about it for a second in a split second decision will 
we'll do it because there yeah because of their they circumstances which is why the solution to racism would be increasing exposure to an environment in which those uh, neurological pathways were no longer formed yeah in other words just people getting bored with the idea that we come in different colors yeah, so I think ultimately the idea is to make people not discriminate based on race in terms of their s neurological responses and their split-second decisions. But right now, noticing race is important because there's a lot of socioeconomical status shit that ha goes on based on race. So if you deny someone their race, you're kind of denying a whole history of shit that they went through. That's a really interesting thing, yeah. Take a drink. The modern idea that that invisibility of race is uh, the definition of non-racism has this weird cloaked like Racism. aggression to it, I agree. where it, w w w which comes from Big Brother, which is like, oh, who wants more than George W. Bush, for instance, or the Pentagon, for all of us to not see anything other than another human being when we look at but each wait, other? But wait, okay. I, this is a serious thing, finally. Uh, <laughs> my daughter, when she was, uh, you know, in preschool and, and kindergarten, she had a, a friend who was black. She was, in, and um, my. That's not a bad thing. No. It's a good. Well, thing. Well, we'll get to that. Just hold on. <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> Wait. I'm going to turn her around. I'm going to make her the biggest racist here. No. Um, but she was asked uh, to describe her friend who, who she was talking about, and she described her, she's like, very long, beautiful hair and, and, and brown eyes, and she didn't mention her skin or anything. She didn't see uh, the defining uh, characteristics of race in that. When do, we, when do we first start seeing that? Actually, it happens around uh, three and four years old, but it gets stronger the older we get. So Because I think we're conditioned. It's because of uh, exposure. So you are exposed to cultural attitudes and associations right. through TV and right. media and all kinds of... And your it's parents, it's mostly your parents. Right, it's people, it's people coming out and saying that person's black. And also, also you're like, you notice novelty and things in your environment that are different from you. And you so get rewarded for... If somebody were to come up to me after the show and they were to say, uh, Hey, uh, my name's Glenn, Glenn Johnson. Uh, I saw you at the uh, such and such show. Uh, remember me with the pink hat? And if I were to go, pink hat... Um, you and you, you, all you guys with the pink hats, and you guys were there at the bachelor party. Uh, you, the dopamine spikes. You get rewarded as a primate for noticing patterns. You yeah, accelerate. Absolutely. You, you excel as a primate because you remember things. Yep. You remember patterns and connections. Our brains formed to notice to, to systematically process things and regulate and condense all this shit that we process. And the simplest a, like, way to do that is to put a label on someone. Like the definition of charming is James Bond walking into a casino and smelling someone's perfume and saying, oh, that's that kind of perfume. And the woman says, oh, my God, you're so amazing. You're so much more amazing than other men. Hi, uh, the audience isn't applauding. Uh, isn't Spencer got a beer, Fox. everyone. Spencer got a beer. <laughs> I'm we sorry. Have to describe I this. derailed uh, the good work. How many beers is that now? Just Four? let's talk about racism. <laughs> <laughs> Connections, like, like like people remembering what color your eyes are, uh, when's, when's our anniversary, all these things, like like seemingly superficial connections. Uh, they become when they're politicized. They're the, when they're attached to an, an inherently classist society. That's when they become problematic. In all other areas, we reward them. We go, oh, that guy's so awesome. He remembered my birthday. True, but at I the thought you'd back me up more on this than that. I feel <laughs> no, she's a contrarian. <laughs> Well, I feel like, you know, like uh, we get rewarded for processing things in that manner, but that can get us into trouble, right? Like no, if right. you're a police officer and you make a split second decision to shoot an unarmed black man because you have these associations, yes. uh, that's not fucking okay. No, it's not. No, no, we're not. 
Oh, uh, you killed your mic. No, oh, we're being censored. But you're right. You're right. No, but in I, any other circumstance, we are rewarded. Yeah, for, I certainly wasn't saying. Making, oh God, racism is great. Right, right, right. What I'm saying is, <laughs> what I'm saying is that re, re, like like racism is a thing that we fucking struggle with, and it's, and it's not we, necessarily it's because we wake up in the morning and go, I'm gonna go hate a bunch of people today. It's <laughs> often because Sorry. we're. <laughs> What's going on? No, there? nothing's going on. We're just having a great discussion. <laughs> <laughs> How many beers have you had? Just Spencer? let's racism. <laughs> no, I've had like He's three <laughs> or five. Five? I don't know. I can't get anything done with this guy. Racism. You're, Dan's right. What you're saying is right. I All mean, right. that's how we developed, evolved as humans. It's how we yeah. not got eaten, but it's also how we decided racism was a cool thing. It's true. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm listening. I, I do my thing. I've I've read I'm the not. reviews of my podcast. I know that I talk about people dumb shit love too your much. podcast. Damn. Shut up, Spencer. <laughs> She's a neurologist that studied racism. I thought it would be interesting. It, it is was interesting. interesting. It to is talk interesting. To her. It still is. I would like to talk to her for six hours. I but would too. It could not be too. That's fine. It could not be too. That's fine. <laughs> Let's. Let's keep her up I here. I like this. This is like the Dick Cavett show. Did you ever watch that? <laughs> His, historically, less people did. <laughs> than your show? <laughs> uh, all right. Stay up here for a second, will you? Okay. And play Dungeons and Dragons with yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> what do we, when do we have to be out of here? 10.55? 10.55. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh, Jesus, Great. that's a Perfect. really long Dungeons and Dragons. Well, no, we not. can't do anything about it. Don't get mad. A lot of you are here because in your youth, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show happened to you. <laughs> it, they do it here at it this happens time. To and by people. the way, Dan told me he'll talk to you forever after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is true. Uh, where, where are we going to be after the show? Let's go, let's go to the long room. Oh, All no, of no, us. no, no, no. We have a... We have a, we have There's, a it's long enough. We have a place that we've arranged. Collins. Collins? We'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, so I'll be there. I don't think everyone's going to... To get fit. ourselves a snack. <laughs> All right. Uh, Good podcast, Dan. <laughs> I just, I just, I just heard my mom saying that. Uh, I, I didn't hear my mom say anything. That fucking bitch has been quiet all night. <laughs> I wish I had the relationship with my mom that Dan, uh, that Dino does. Uh, I don't Aww. think she has the relationship I have with her. <laughs> I, <I'm, laughs> no, I think we all feel that way. Because his mom's like, you know, she's an a eight fucking badass. She's, she's a badass. She, she is a badass. She, she, she is a badass. She, she she ate dinner with us and she's flinty and she, she's she charming. kept offering me tzatziki. Yeah. It was great. That's the, what those cunts it. do, man. <laughs> they offer Come tzatziki. On. I love I love my mother. <laughs> oh, I love her. All right. Do we have an, do we have enough people to play? Or do Let's we... see. We got Dungeon Master. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're way ahead of us. Yeah, they got it. They got our number. Yeah. Do we need another person? Is that? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not picking. All of your yelling I'm not picking is in either. vain. I promise. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! He fell down. Oh. Did anybody get that? I just on, heard Did that. anybody get that on their iPhone? Oh, no. no, no. Dan it fell down. Happen. Dan fell down. His leg could be broken now, and he wouldn't let on. No, no. I would definitely... How do we choose? Are, is Dan actually okay? Is he okay? I don't know. I... This guy, oh, my God. He's this walking. guy's got a Vincent Price I mean, shirt he's on. he's lying. Uh, He's in the crowd. I don't think they can hear us. I, Check your privilege, everybody. I'm looking for handicapped people. I'm looking for... I'm, I'm a full Asian. Full Asian? We already got, like, a kind of... Yeah, sit down, you fucking nip. 
I think we're fighting someone. What? We're fighting someone. Thanks for doing your work. Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, that's that's yeah okay. Oh my god! All right. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I can't believe What's the that? mics go that deep. I guess. Oh, uh, you guys, off. come on. There's nobody that has like a like an over the top like disability or. Uh... That's such a rude, weird thing. Yeah, a <laughs> He's a Mormon. We got a Mormon over here. Let's just start dancing. What it, What are you pointing at him for? What's it? What's his deal? This is. Well, just say dancing. it. What's What's his deal? She has short hair. You guys are the worst. I'm looking for. All right, what's this guy's deal? What's what kind name? of cripple? I need you to trade. You need to take this. How I, crippled is he? I know I. Is, he's got a fucked up hip. You, you're not wrong. All right, he's got you're a fucked up wrong. hip. Bring him up here. See, look, we did it. Dustin, 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 I don't know if you might Hello. cut at some point. You're telling me. Wait, what's happening? We got a guy oh, with a fucked up live? hip coming up. This is live. I think a lot of them we broke away. We don't even get away. to edit this shit. You don't have anyone. Dan, you don't have anyone. No, he has a fucked up hip. He's coming. Oh, Harmon. okay. <laughs> I'm this, sorry, man. I didn't shit, know. This shit is live. We can't even edit this. What do you think's for sale? It's not Manimal on <laughs> Thursday nights. It's... Oh, my God. Can we watch Manimal on Thursday oh, nights? But I'm, I'm worried. Are we going to get canceled? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ha. All right. I met this guy, right? Hi. I know. Yeah, I met you. And, yeah, uh, yeah, when, I was, when I was waiting in line the for the upside down history. cross and everything. All right. Yeah. Why don't you sit down here in this yeah. chair? I mean, he's he's pretty much me. I should just go sit down, right? Yeah, man. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> My friends would like to hang out with you. I'll probably. hang out with them. Oh. Yeah, just do yeah, it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take pictures with people <laughs> while you guys. Do your hey Dungeons guys. And Dragons I'm bullshit. proud of myself what? without talking to him Don't for finding the opposite of her. <laughs> In every way. If you were an alien and you were going to eat humans, you th these were th would be the two shakers you'd have on your table. Uh, it needs a little bit more upside down cross on a baseball cap. Couple shakes of a quarter Asian. Uh, oh, come on, don't. <laughs> Daniel Scott, everybody! <laughs> Daniel Scott! <laughs> 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 I, love that, I love that that's come full circle to everyone just being like, yeah! The, <laughs> uni <laughs> the universal music for boring. <laughs> boring. What if you what if Doc you went gifts. to China and you were at a baseball game and they said please rise for the national anthem <laughs> and it was that and it was that <laughs> that you know you laugh but that exact thing happened to the country of Kazakhstan <laughs> because the Borat version of the Kazakhstan theme song played at the fucking Olympics really how yeah did, how does it go Kazakhstan is greatest <laughs> country in the world you know like that am I on you can have it yeah yeah you can have it man. Oh. Thank you. He's a lovely gent. Why is your kettle Spencer, one all black? I want to. I want to. Uh, you. Uh, you made me cry today. Don't do that. Well, you Stop cried. Stop it. Oh, I, I cried. My what? friends can tell you I cried. Why the entire about movie. what? About what? Because it was so amazing. You're Knock like it. the you're like the Beatles fans back Knock in the sixties. Fuck off. Was. Yeah, I yeah. am. Did nice. you see that video of the girl with the? Uh, was John Lennon? I'm, really high I'm excited. I was Spencer here. Really I was here high. for it's a wonderful I life. Had a lot of food, a lot of pot cookies. Was Spencer. John Lennon a beetle? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> hey, you're good though. I <laughs> have a lot of pot cookie too, man. I didn't. I didn't. You are John Lennon. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about getting shot. <laughs> he got shot, right? I don't know people or things. 
What uh, is... We should just cash it all in and go home, right? Almost. Almost. Well, yeah, we not, my mic didn't have that much uh, battery. Thanks. I definitely oh, yeah. need to blow my nose. That's very kind of you. Thank you. That's very kind of you to blow my nose with. All right. He, he's inconspicuous. So, you, so. Think, you, you, you think he could do a little D&D with us? Yes, he does think that. I will answer for him. Uh, you, uh, okay, all right. Well, turn towards that guy. Now, now you say those words. You think you could do some D&D with us? Yes. I just blew my nose. All right, yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm I'll exhausted. Do whatever anyone wants. Just take wants. it easy. Come on. We I know. We've got to get out of here in 12 minutes. I know. Okay, what? so what do you want? You where want some music? Where are the characters? Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll need those. Oh, no, sorry. Phil, vamp. Vamp, everybody, vamp. Uh, Dungeons oh. & Dragons music. Oh, yeah, yeah give me... Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, kind of, yeah, Middle Earth. Thank Middle Earth, God yeah. God Dick Wolf is here. Yeah. Oh, the eye of Sauron sees everything, but she doesn't see my lady. Oh, when a penny falls from heaven, I got an orc for a nickel. Can I? I got a gold-plated sword, but I'm going to practice black magic, but I can't keep the black magic in my mind. Got a lady on my quarter with a nickel in my border. <laughs> Look at these things. They're tax forms. I mean, you don't have to understand them. That's the beauty. Well, why of you it. give them to me? Because it's my job. <laughs> Thank you. That's very kind. You're you're really by the books. I you have fucking hippie. The old, I'm the job guy. Fuck. All right. I Light, guess I can't do this. D and D. Here we oh, go. Yeah. Music me. Can you give me some <clears throat> fantasy something style? really dark and uh, fantasy like Lord you know, of the like, Rings? Like yeah. Yeah. All right. I haven't prepared anything, so this is just off the top. When we last met, our heroes were on the ghost way, a perilous path forged by ghosts, wrought completely in darkness and without vision. Our heroes accomplished the feat of getting across a pit trap without having eyes. But then Christopher realized he had goggles of night and the gang found their way to vision. Using their vision, they got to the end of the ghost way where their path was barred by a ghostly portculus. The portculus was made quick work of by Krista Berg's roguery skills. <laughs> <laughs> and the gang was out. Following the cave, Lil Baskins let them know that they would get quite cold and chilly and they would need some warm skins, so they thought to get themselves some leather off the backs of Rhinoceri. And the gang, with great gusto, attacked Rhinoceri and murdered them for their flesh skins. <laughs> After leaving the cave, our heroes found themselves in yet another graveyard. But the graveyard was not alone, for they were encountered by Double Hand, the fighter, and Onius, the Skullborn. Two gnolls claiming revenge for the murder of their blood mate, Yurch the Knoll. But as our foes drew up their powerful magics, would our heroes be able to truly win the day, fight others, or kill shit? Find out next time on a Harmon Town episode. The end? <laughs> yeah, the end. <laughs> How much time do we have? Nine minutes. Let's get nine out minutes. Of here. Or nine minutes. All right. Take it. I'm Take sorry, that W2 no, no. form. Sweet. Yes, thank you. Can yeah, you I do need gather? those yes, for reference. I, I, I examine my surroundings. You were in a small graveyard occupied by two gnolls as well as several members of the undead. The undead. Sure. What, what do you want to do? Uh, Everybody go. I use diplomacy. On, on who? I baffle them with a 1080 form. <laughs> who, 
who are you diplomatizing? Who are you diplomatizing? Uh, one of the Knowles. What? What do you say to them? Uh, you know what's don't happening? fuck with us. A little bit. Your words are convincing. <laughs> it's a great game. It's it a great game. I, I want to like it. I just don't know how. Well, <laughs> just try harder. Dude. I mean, it looks like homework. Well, you threw your papers. It looks like homework. Well, don't don't look at it like that. Well, give, make it colorful next time. <laughs> it's all black and white, and it's got grids, and it's that's boring. A, that's an easy problem to solve, my friend. Exactly. You knew I was going to be uh, here tonight. I didn't. I did not. Oh, you didn't? I did not. <laughs> All Diplomacy right. successful. Why anyone talk to anyone around here? The Knowles. The Knowles. They start speaking. They're like, holy shit, that's a really convincing argument. <laughs> um, well, I guess you got to tell us why you killed our fucking pack mate because he was a great, a great friend to us and you murdered him. I'll answer that. Will you? Good Who idea. are you? I'm Sharpie Butts a lot. <laughs> He sure is. And I've been through a great deal with this group, and I've remembered 40% of it. <laughs> That's generous. That's and I generous. say to you that your friend, as much as he was an ally to you, he was an ally to me. And as much as you would have felt betrayed by him succumbing to blood magic, I felt betrayed. And I smote him for his crimes as you would have smitten him. I wouldn't have yeah, smitten him. As... Ditto! <laughs> I, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that because that was his mission to steal the blood book. And all we need is that blood book and you fucking have it and I'm going to murder your ass. You're going to murder my ass? You don't even read that book. <laughs> it's not a book you read. Motherfucker, the last guy that read it turned into a shitbird that I killed. Because you killed him. Because reading it doesn't get you anywhere. Oh, shit. Oh, well, sh double shit. Well, then can, can, we ha can, I ha can I have it? You want the blood book like yeah, your friend wanted the Yeah, that's literally why our good Sh friend Sh died. Sh Sh Sharpie, I wave my sap over my fucking head, and I'm just like... You, Noel, you better shut the fuck up. I or need I'm to gonna mention. I'm whack you on top of the fucking head. Listen to this motherfucker. I'm just fucking willing it. I'm willing it around. This like just it. sounds like so much drunken babble, but the sap you have is no longer full of lead powder and hey, is what? thus a, a simple leather sack. Yeah, but keep waving it, though. Keep waving it. <laughs> it's threatening. Oh, it's threatening. I am, I am an 80... Still waving, still waving. I, I am an 80-year-old man. I don't know what everyone's <laughs> talking about. Get off my lawn. Uh, you're on my lawn, bitch. I feel like you should roll for that. Yeah. Your mic doesn't work. Can we get her a new mic? Yeah, oh, mic Here, use work. mine. Here. No, for God's sake, use mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say the thing. <laughs> say the thing. Uh, I'm so sorry, audience. Uh, died. Well, now that one doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. there we go. Here we go. All right, so. Oh, huh. <laughs> Thank you for waving that sap around your head. It's, I I want I wanted to protect you. I appreciate it. I felt protected. I feel like we should have rolled for Get Off My Lawn. Uh, I mean, it wasn't very convincing. <laughs> All right. Uh, listen. Hey. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Listen. I I'm listening. Your, the, the blood magic book obviously rests in better hands with Does me. Does it? Does it? Every null hand it's been in has... Uh, has been corrupted. That's one set of hands. It's not a, not a trend. <laughs> not a trend. I love Dino. So here we have two sets of data. I mean, what are you doing? I will pay you money. I will pay you blood! <laughs> blood. 
Sharpie. So we we're need, back. We do need money. Okay. All right. You, you know what? You <laughs> tried to loot. You tried to loot a lot of times. Okay. You know what? You're nothing, right. Nothing, what are we doing here? Yeah. Becomes. What am I doing? I've never used a book. <laughs> Let's, Let's get rid of this you know what? book. What do you get? What, how much are you offering? I will not kill you, and I will give you seven thousand gold pieces. Make it. Make it. Make it fourteen thousand, and I won't kill you. You know. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Six thousand. Uh, oh. Seventeen thousand. <laughs> I'm. 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 Your negotiations are failing, my brother. No, just... yours are. <laughs> no, they no no yours are. Yours are failing. No, yours are. You're surrounded by skeletons. You're scur you're surrounded by skeletons. Can, can I heal Starburns? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna heal Starburns. You do that. Who, who is Starburns? Sixteen health. That's Quark. Quark, Quark is Starburns. Quark. Oh yeah, meta gaming. Regaining sixteen health to Quark. <laughs> you feel you I'm haven't gonna... made any headway in this negotiation. All right. So. So he's he's saying six thousand, man. I'm saying nine thousand. Well, nine thousand I can do. I mean, ninth out. Yeah, we can afford a resurrection. Holy shit, man! Wait, no, I give you nine thousand. I still have enough money for a resurrection. I'll take nine thousand. Here's your blood book. All right, you convince him successfully. This couldn't have happened if I was sober. <laughs> he. Well, do you offer the book? Yep. He gives you a sack of whatever that ag agreed upon amount was. What? Is what Wait, he what? gives what? you the amount of money he agreed upon, whatever that amount was. <laughs> I no, I give. A, I, give I feel him the like book it was nine thousand. We agreed on a, a yeah, nine thousand. I give him the book. Well, if you see Yurch alive, don't be surprised because we're bringing him back. Hey, if you see my dick, <laughs> be surprised oh. because it's supposed to be in my pants. I would have gone to 15,000. I would have oh, gone to 15,000. I would have murdered you. I would have I done all kinds of stuff. Well, I feel like I saved $6,000 and my life just no, now. No, you didn't, You because you offered 7000 and I jacked it up to fourteen, and we came down at nine. I fucked you. I fucked you. <laughs> You fucked me. You fucked me. You fucked me. I'm gonna walk backwards out of this situation with my hands up. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk backward with my dick out. <laughs> Walking backward with your dick out, you realize that this truly was the best way to see it, solve this scenario. Yeah! Chicago! The Windy City! The capital of Illinois, no matter what they say. A great city by a great lake. Dino uh, Stamatopoulos, your guest controller. Spencer Crittenden, your dungeon master. Joe Dirt, your, what, what was your name? Greg. 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 What was Chicago! Your, what was your name, young lady? Jenny. Jenny. Jenny, the neurologist racist. All of you. All of you. The Music Box Theater. Eat that popcorn. And uh, I will be at Cullen's. That's the place. Cullen's. And I'll shake your hand and take your selfies and, and, and touch you and hug you. Thank you. God bless you.